Hey, what's up, guys? Eddie Jetty here. Just going to make a quick video to show you guys how to find Spotted Bay Bass. I always get asked the same question. Um, how do I find the fish? Or why is it so slow for me when I go fishing? For me, I try to go usually during a incoming tide or an outgoing tide. But I have fish during a high tide. Today I was fishing an outgoing tide. I got there like around 5.45 so this is what it should look like when you look it up and I'll leave a link down in the description to the website so you guys can find it. When you get to your fishing spot make sure to keep an eye out to see if you see bait in the water. If you see bait in the water that's a good sign that there's predator fish around. Um, I recommend you guys learn the structure wherever you guys are fishing. Like for example here where I fish at this jetty I know when the tide is high I kind of know where the spotted bay bass are going to be hiding or where they would be at go during a low tide check out the rocks check out the structure um, that's what I could recommend if you go during a high tide and you start casting out try casting out parallel to the rocks just like you see here uh, cast out in this direction try to get your bait to land in this area and slow retrieve it the spotties like to hide between the rocks and 90% of the time if you cast out between those spots you'll get bit. You might get snagged a couple times but, but that's just part of it. I mean once you get the hang of it you probably just get snagged less and less. Now for the retrieve, cast it out, let it sink. Once it sinks and you hit the bottom, reel in a little bit of line then let it sink back down. Reel in a little bit of line then let it sink back down. A lot of times the bait will get bit on the sink. So when you let it sink, the spotted bait bass just come up out of the rocks and just eat the bait up. For lead heads, I use 1 4th ounce to 1 8 ounce round jig head. I like to rig these up with 4 inch smoky shots by Zoom Bait. You can get these at Walmart for 238 a pack. I also like to use a 3.5 big bug up by big island baits i'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for the website so you guys can check them out good baits they last a long time the bass tear them up it takes forever for them to rip so i highly recommend these you guys check them out once you get bit you gotta make sure that you keep reeling you can't stop reeling with this fish because if they turn around and go into the rocks they'll either break you off or they'll just lodge themselves in between the rocks and they'll feel like you're stuck but in reality the spotty just open up their gill plates and then just get stuck in between the rocks and basically you won't you won't be able to get them out of there with these bodies they have teeth that are really sharp so i recommend if you lip them just be careful because they'll thrash around and tear up your thumb um, a lot of people they like to just use a lip grabber so if you have a lip grabber go ahead and use it so hopefully these tips helped you guys out it's just some things that i have learned over the past couple years that i think you guys can use don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video